Hi Cancer, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. This is going to be your own reading today, Cancer, and uh, we have your spread here. So today I'm using new cards. These are like brand new. All these cards here. We have three decks, two oracles, and then we have these cards here. And I just decided to kind of be really kind of spontaneous here. So uh, with that being said, I put the cards down ahead of time since I'm not I'm not terribly familiar with these cards. No, because uh, they're like... They're a few hours old. Yeah, that's how old they are here. <laughs> but I feel like you, uh, I feel like you could be finding out about something. There's some type of a revelation that you have learned about. Something I think that was revealed to you. I'm not really sure if it's good or bad. Uh, it's not really clear. Like, but it could go either way here, right? Because I feel like in the past. I feel like you have suffered, uh, maybe this is now, but I feel like you're suffering some type of a loss. And you could feel that, you know, that this happened very quickly. It's a possibility here. This loss that you, uh, that you have, you know, endured, I feel like. There could be somebody here that you thought was... Excuse me, I beg your pardon. Maybe here in, in the root here is the Ace of Swords, but this talks about frustrations in this deck and kind of a hollow victory. Yeah, and you know that hollow victory, sometimes it can talk about somebody who thought they were winning, but really they weren't, and in the end they lost out. I feel like you uh, you could be learning about somebody getting into a union over here. It's a possibility here. What's on your mind? We have the Five of Wands. This talks about arguments in this particular deck and not much else. And then we have the Four of Wands with it. This is a union, the happy home, and this could be what's on your mind. Like, you might, this could just be, like, you could be fighting with this person, possibly. And, you know, you thought you had a happy home with them. It's a possibility here. But if this is indeed true, I feel like what you are doing here is manifesting self-love. Uh, I feel like you are. Because of it. Yeah, I mean, it could be kind of like a... Maybe a double-edged sword for you, kind of, right? Kind of. And then we also have... Uh, we have the wizard here, so this is like you trusting your intuition, intuition to the max, like, completely. Mm-hmm. Trusting that Cancerian insight. Yeah, for sure. The Divine Feminine Energy. And I feel like you have been studying uh, this situation here. Like, you could have learned that something is going to happen real quick here, but it's possible here that maybe you have been studying this. Like, wondering about it. Like, thinking maybe there was something that was going to be revealed to you with this person, I believe, that something was going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility here. Maybe this is after kind of uh, suffering this loss with this person. I feel like this is a breakup. And here you are, uh, Cancer, and they're showing this lady here, and she looks like a very nice lady, and she's smiling, and, you know, this is a light-haired woman. They always show the Queen of Cups uh, in all the decks I've ever had as a light-haired woman. This doesn't mean you have to be uh, a light-haired, though. No, it doesn't. This is just how they did that. But I feel like that's probably you. You have, in the near future, uh, I feel like this is what you are doing. I feel like you are stepping away from this situation to kind of, like, maybe get fresh eyes. And it's possible that you have studied this situation with, like, and you understand what was happening here about somebody, this revelation, because of their patterns. Yeah, I feel like this is it. You, like, you, you, they've done this before, or there's something here that they continue to do, or they have done, you know, a couple times, maybe several times. But these patterns are helping you understand what's going on here. Temperance is in your outcome, I mean, in your environment, I beg your pardon. And, you know, this could be Sagittarius. You have the Queen of Pentacles here showing up in your hope and desire. Maybe you are hoping for an earth sign. Maybe this is a person that you felt the loss with. 
it could be this Sagittarian, it could be this Magician, Aries. Yeah, I mean, and then, of course, you know, we have the Devil here in the outcome. Mm -hmm. You might feel jealous in this situation, right? Because uh, I feel like in this reading, you feel like something was, like, taken away from you. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how I feel in this reading. Yeah. So let's look at your concern. Maybe you are concerned about money here because we have the Eight of Pentacles here, right? You could be. Let's see what we have. And uh, this card can talk about work or maybe getting paid. Let's see what else we have here. But it can talk about... Uh, let's see what else. Let's see what else we have here for Cancer. Let's see what else we have. We have the Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. This is travel. This is your concern. You might think somebody is at a distance here. Yeah, you could. Let's see what else we have. And the Three of Wands. This is travel again. I feel like your concern here is that probably somebody is... Uh, kind of this person that you have suffered this loss with maybe you feel like this person is like kind of going to really make an effort or work on something with somebody work on a union with somebody you could be thinking that let's see why you have temperance in your in your in in your uh, not your income but your environment uh, but you do you know uh, cancer in your outcome here we have the devil but this is a good devil this is somebody who breaks the chains yeah, like, screw this, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, they're showing this couple, and they are bonded, uh, bound to each other by chains, right? Or chained to each other. And, you know, this can also talk about, uh, I feel like there's jealousy in this reading because, and I feel like somebody kind of made you feel jealous because of what they have done. It's like this isn't just jealousy. This is jealousy because I believe somebody here is, like, was they could have been having an affair. That's what could have been going on here. Let's get a card on temperance. It doesn't have to be an affair, but uh, for some it is. Mm -hmm. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is in your environment here. This can talk about uh, frustrations here. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is in your uh this is in your environment here. You could be frustrated because of a Sagittarian here. I feel like somebody here, I feel like you are frustrated because you think that your person could be testing the waters with somebody. Yeah, I feel like that's what is going on in this reading. Let's get one card on this Queen of Pentacles, and this is the person who is in your hopes or your wishes, or your desire, the Three of Swords. This is more frustration, and this could be jealousy here. There's a lot of frustration in this reading. A lot. I feel like this could be, you know, this is the person that you could be maybe dealing with here. I feel like you are very frustrated. Uh, this talks about deception, too. Mm -hmm. You could be dealing with an earth sign who has been deceptive, or somebody has been deceptive about an earth sign. Let's see what else we have. And the seven of swords. Yeah, I think I feel like you feel broken hearted here because you think this person is making plans with somebody. Yeah. Like they are testing the waters, and you could be thinking they're going to make plans with somebody. The devil's in your outcome, but, you know, as I said, Cancer, this is you breaking the chains. Yeah. And you have, Cancer, this reading's a kind of a, yeah, it's not that easy. But, you know, you have love, confidence, and manifestation. I feel like you are manifesting self-love here. Yeah, I feel like you are. Let's get a card on your outcome, which is the devil. Let's see what we have for cancer. And then we have the page of cups. This is this talks about good news. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have. Page of swords. 
Yeah, more, yeah, this can be spying or deception. Mm -hmm. I feel like what you are doing, you are breaking chain, you are breaking the chains here because somebody else here, uh, maybe there is, maybe this person is bringing you news here. This person that you are dealing with here. Maybe they are bringing you some, some good news. It ha maybe it is about money here. We have the Eight of Pentacles in your concern. I feel like what you are doing in this reading is that you are breaking the chains, but I feel like you are looking back. Uh, you're looking back at the situation, and uh, what I get here is that you are looking back at it, but you feel like you have kind of have learned here. And uh, from this person, right, who could have put you through a lot. Yeah, they could have put you through a broken heart for sure. But I feel like you're looking back and kind of like, kind of just looking, evaluating it here. Looking at the patterns in the past, things like that. And I do believe uh, after you have done that, I feel like you are telling yourself, I'm just going to break these chains. I'm out. And this could be somebody else here. It, it could in in all these energies, kind of. And what I, I mean, I I told a story here about these cards, but I'm saying when I say you are actually doing something, sometimes this is somebody else doing that thing, that that action, or you know. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you're going to be okay, and you do have this card in the outcome about breaking the chains. Yeah, you could have felt held and bound by this person here. Because once again, I feel like you thought that you were in a situation with somebody where it was like victorious. And you could be coming to like coming to the conclusion, right, that no, it, it really wasn't. Mm -hmm. So we're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.